Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Keep in mind that these messages are general. So if you need a personal, all my information will be in the about section. All right, let's tap into the messages here. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting the channel. And for those who have been here since day one, I see y'all. Okay. Message for Virgo. I'm picking up the song by Rihanna featuring Drake, Take Care. Okay. Somebody's trying to sabotage a King of Cups coming towards you to tell you how much you are valued supported how much they trust or are putting trust in you or um them wanting to work with you collaborate yeah somebody wants to give equally to you and i feel like this person is manifesting you but there's somebody from this person's family or their past that may be trying to get them to love this person again okay but they're going in a different direction that's what I'm picking up on here. They're, they want to take a leap of faith to just put all their trust and faith in their emotions towards you. But somebody here feels like you might leave them out in the cold or something could re be repeated from their past or something that might trigger them from their own childhood. All right. That's what I'm picking up here. The number 10 is significant. Somebody is trying to destroy a person. This could be an air sign because of their emotions. I heard elements. Okay. Hmm. The element of water. Somebody hates that you're so balanced or your person is balancing their emotions to come towards you to tell you something. So they're trying to make this uh, mission defective. That's what I'm picking up on. Somebody don't want this person to come and visit or see you or confess to you how they feel. They don't feel like it's fair. Like this person is causing some type of injustice to them through walking away from the situation. Wow. That's crazy. Let's see. Why is this 10 of swords here? Somebody here could be having a damaged confidence or a level of, of speaking up for themselves. The Ten of Swords talks about like some sort of harm, feeling uh, very heavy, or they're a wounded warrior. Okay? So somebody's sacral chakra, their root chakra, their throat chakra, they need to work on that. Clarifying the Ten of Swords, we got here the Fool, okay? Somebody was a fool to allow someone to um, manage their emotions, okay? Somebody here wants the Ten of Cups with you. I can't make this up. They're trying to make up with you for lost time, okay? This is somebody that's in love with you, but they've been conflicted about their own emotions or how they are going to come towards you to do this. Yeah, they've been slowed down or maybe there was some sort of delay in them coming towards you, okay? I do see here that there's going to be something that will allow whatever this is to move forward, okay? The number is 2, 10, 55, 66. Somebody could be seeing repeated numbers, Five, 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 and I'm seeing 66. I'm seeing 33. That could be significant. Gemini, Earth, Water, and Aquarius could be significant. Why is the King of Cups here? What is it that we need to know currently for Virgo? We have the Princess of Wands, so it looks like somebody has enough faith um, and, and bold energy to come to towards you with to speak about what's on their mind. They want you to give them a chance or an opportunity to, you know, build a foundation, 10 of pentacles. Okay. Working together with you or having domesticated harmony, family dynamics with you. Okay. There's something that may not be spoken about or someone's holding back on, or maybe there is little to no communication. 
Yeah, somebody here has been avoiding communication from you or you them. This could be a mutual energy. Why is this Ace of Swords in reverse here? Why does someone feel like they have to hide um, something? Because somebody was working on themselves. Somebody had some sort of deep, uh, I was going to say deviancy. Somebody had uh, codependencies, um, destructive patterns, um, a lack of discipline. Okay, somebody here could have had a gambling issue or somebody here took a risk to do something and ended up in a very tough position, okay, because of a queen of cups. We've talked about this woman before. This is somebody that's very bitter, cold-hearted, doesn't really care one way or another how somebody feels unless it's them. It affects them. Somebody here allowed a person to go down because of what they what they allowed a king of pentacles to do to your person. Somebody um, fabricated a lie or um, exposed something or threatened to do this. What is this two of swords in reverse? The lie was somebody just wanting to come around looking like a beat up emperor so that they can... Um, egg someone on or lead them on just to become the knight of pentacles. Somebody was com was supposed to come in and lie about them being on their last leg or, or using a former situation to get close to you so that they could um, be at a higher level, which is the knight of pentacles in the upright. Okay, somebody wanted it to come off as like their marriage material, but somebody that is a female, whoever, yeah, this queen of cups, they're, they are a non-nurturing uh, person. They may not even want to have children or may have had um, abortions in the past or lost a child. Somebody here don't like children or feel like they are on this earth to um, procreate. Yeah, they, they thought that it was going to work. And if it did work, it, it, something fell apart, okay? So somebody here was humbled by some sort of plot to go against you. Yeah, there's unresolved business that's going on here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody didn't work hard to gain a person's trust for them to open up or be vulnerable. Nine of Swords. I feel like this is why someone was so anxious. They couldn't sleep. They couldn't eat. Somebody can't function the way that they usually do. Somebody feels guilty or they're afraid. They're afraid of this person coming back around to conclude this connection or this relationship. A high priestess. So they had to push the agenda for them to be this dark witch or warlock to do whatever they had to do for themselves. I heard be careful with me by Cardi B. Okay, that's what I'm picking up too. Somebody is a scorned lover. This is a feminine energy. We have great happiness. Somebody is about to come into some sort of beautiful harmony in their life this heart maybe um there's some type of music that brings someone this positive joy yeah look happiness and well-being okay this is confirmation that whatever this is that's coming in is going to bring you happiness because this is how you feel currently you're indecisive about like what direction you you, you want to go in or how you're going to claim this happiness okay there's a dark woman and an older man that is um trying to confuse you or deter you from this happy time that's coming in your life. Why? Because they want you to feel like there's some sort of fear that they could place in you when it comes to your money. Okay? Chain of events that's going to affect your life gives you this tower. Something is going to change and it's the route that you're going in that will bring you a solid foundation. 
okay? You're also going to meet new cycles where you get to open up paths to possibilities, opportunities by taking a risk. But be careful. Do not take risk. Okay, there's news on the way about you climbing towards success here. So you might receive a letter, an email, or something like that. Let's see. I heard the word restoration. Something is going to be restored. I'm hearing something about a belt buckle. Okay, somebody could be getting ready. Or somebody needs to hold on to their seat belts or or somebody ooh, somebody's into some sort of like rough play or whatever this is. We have throat chakra. Somebody here could be holding a person back from from speaking or somebody is unable to speak on something that's growing or you're giving birth to something. Yeah, somebody is the alchemist. And I feel like there is a need not to let someone into that that energy since it is brewing whatever this is that you're creating or about to conceive an idea uh, a child or a commitment i feel like somebody's trying to take away your authority or power to have this somebody doesn't want you to have some type of possibility because soul time is in reverse you see that Somebody wants to stop you from speaking. So they put some sort of plagued energy on you for you to have temporary um, hoarseness of the voice. Or they bind your, your, your throat chakra so that your crown won't pick up the, the notations of what you are supposed to speak on. Okay? That's what I'm picking up. What is this? I heard something about a crisis. Somebody here could be overly dramatic about something. Look, we have breakup or separation. Somebody thinks it's the end of the world because they're going through a breakup. Okay, we have photograph in reverse and we have coffee cup in reverse. So somebody here may try to wean themselves off of um, keeping up with your every move. This could be someone that could be a potential suitor or someone that may want to confess or profess some type of um, information to you. Somebody could be held back from meeting and conversing with you. Tell me more about this coffee cup and photograph. Yes, yeah, somebody here has a love call. This is someone that you've been separated from. It doesn't have to be romantic, although it can be. Somebody was limited to the type of passion that they had for you because they knew it would bring about some sort of partnership, commitment, engagement, whatever this is. Somebody's trying to keep you from the person that wants a forever with you because it leads to a marriage, a long lasting commitment. I was going to say Langstaff. Somebody's last name could be Langstaff. What's the message? What is it that we need to know for Virgo? Okay, so it looks like you are to be unharmed or untouched or else somebody's going to suffer the consequences themselves by something not growing, okay? I do see here that somebody has a lack of faith or somebody is not promised something or, or you're not waiting for something to be promised for you, okay? Somebody could be unhappy because of something that is cautioning at this time. Somebody here is not going to be in any pain or something is not going to get worse, or proceed. Somebody's unhappy that they have to bring they have to bring caution to something. But whatever it is that you need to bring caution to or pay attention to, it's something you don't know. Why is illumination in reverse? 
Somebody can't stop you from the balance that you're being placed into. I'm telling you, somebody thought that they wouldn't allow something to grow because they couldn't harm or hurt you. Yeah, somebody can't disrupt what you got going on. Somebody's aura color could be red or green. That is confirmation. Okay. Let's see here. Tell me more. Okay, so we have trust. Your spiritual team is telling you to trust something. Yeah, trust that you are supposed to tell somebody no or the answer is no. Okay, we have T's in the middle of the deck. The energy is fun, lighthearted, and uncertain. Okay, retreat. You might have to, you know, take yourself away from what's going on in the present. Okay, bonding. Okay, you might not want to choose a new direction when it comes to the bond that you have or that you created with somebody new or from the past. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. But you have to trust that something is a no for now. Why? Let's see. Because you could be opposed to telling somebody no, but you need to trust that, you know, your, your spiritual team is saying no. Okay. Somebody is trying to uh, gather information on you or um, is digging up your past. Yeah. Somebody here is a liar. Okay. Somebody is digging up your past here and using your past to keep you further put back on your, I don't know. I heard solar plane. I don't know why I'm picking this up here. We have judgment in reverse. Somebody here is going to keep making the same mistakes instead of using their third eye to do the right thing. Yep. God knows exactly what he's doing. Okay. You just got to take heed. Let's see here. What is your person wanting to tell you that they, that you don't already know? Okay. I smile on the outside, but I am dying on the inside. Somebody here may be self-conscious about dark circles around their eyes or needing to cover up um, places that may be highly pigmented on their neck, their face, the back of their neck. Um around the ears or something like that. Okay, somebody's earlobe may need to be fixed. Okay, or something like that. Somebody may not have the most perfect teeth. Somebody is just self-conscious right now. Or there's somebody around you that is like this. Whoever your person is, they're dying on the inside. Somebody overspends their money to show off their wealth, not because they need something, but rather to show off to the person that they can, they have it. This is somebody that steals items and resources from their environment due, due to benefiting themselves. Somebody will be demoted or undervalued or unappreciated. Okay. Because they fall for blatant lies from these clowns here. Someone plays cat and mouse games, but is wondering if it's worth it. Okay. Let's see here. What's the message? Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have peace, balance, harmony, and friendship. So I feel like everything is going the way that it's supposed to go. You have tranquility going on in your life. And I feel like there's something that's not quite yet finished or that you cannot turn your back on or, or close out quite yet. I feel like somebody's heart is the heart space is closed off due to having a broken heart or um, somebody just blowing up their spot. You know what I'm saying? Let's see here. Tell me more. What is it that we need to know currently? 
Okay, so we have family, blood ties, inner circle. So something is going on with family or maybe you have a balanced energy when it comes to your immediate family here. I feel like a lot of you are spending more time going out more and being invited to family functions or whatever this is. I feel like whatever bitterness may have been going on in the recent past, you're making strides to move forward so that you don't end up burning important bridges that you can't cross, okay? I feel like there's an old ex that's hanging around trying to glow up off of you. Could be a clout chaser or, or maybe wanting to come in to tell you what's going on in their life, okay? Or somebody's going to try to trip up and tell you something that's not true for you to work with them so that they can take over some type of like wealthy lifestyle that you will be able to live, okay? Somebody could be using the fact that you're looking for your soulmate or somebody that you could connect with spiritually and they want to be that. Okay. Somebody is salty that they can never have you in the form that they want you to be in because of the consequences that may result in bad choices that they've made in the games that they've played. That's crazy. Okay, so adjustments are required with this third quarter moon. So something here in your situation needs to be adjusted, okay? It, it seems like your confidence, your self-confidence, because here's confirmation here, to Virgo, that you're good enough. You're good enough to be in the job that you want to be in. You're good enough to be on somebody's stage to speak on some sort of truth. You're good enough to be a, a guide for yourself. You're good enough to be somebody's lover, friend, um, confidant. You're good enough to be married to. You're good enough to be a parent. You're good enough to um, take on some form of responsibility that you're ready for. Confidence is key to your success. Okay, for some of you, Virgo and Leo could be significant. Hmm. Okay, so we have creativity. That was a good save. Okay. Somebody is stealing your ideas, copying your work, duplicating, feeding off of you. And this is why you should move in silence. Okay, because somebody's piggybacking off of the work that you're able to do here. OK, somebody's trying to escape their own karma or loss that they could go through so that whatever it is that you're able to generate some sort of like um, revenue off of or make money from, they, they want to irritate your demons or your light. I'm sorry. They want to irritate you. Or they want to bring the worst out of you so that you will initiate contact here. Your light irritates somebody's demons that is going through some sort of ending, loss, or um, rock bottom situation. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. All right, so we have main person. So there is somebody that don't mean shit or they ain't on shit. Whoever this female is, she's a false person. She's a false person that's non-military, okay? She's trying to um, fly a person out or there's somebody that's coming towards this, this false person. They're supposed to be meeting this woman at a country home. Why? To, like, show this person off or, or to fabricate some type of lie. Yeah. There's some sort of like, um, projecting that somebody is doing. Somebody sees themselves as happy, but they're not really happy, but they're trying to mimic something that you would be able to have that they don't have. I'm telling you success in love. I'm not making this shit up. Y'all see me shuffling, right? Somebody always wanted the life that you were able to live or that you will be living.
Okay, so it looks like something that was supposed to arrive or happen very soon may be delayed because something has digressed. Okay, spirit is telling you to know your worth and then add tax. Open up so you can release the past. Let's see here. What's the message? Okay, there's something about a roommate or someone that you live with or maybe you're looking for one. There's a roommate here that carries some type of divine energy. Okay, they could be a light worker. Somebody is helping others to see their spiritual path to make a difference. Okay, we have ready to surrender to your love. Somebody wants you to come and see them. But this could be the karmic feminine writing this. We have threesome dominatrix. Somebody here wants to be included in some sort of like three-way um, connection. Whoever this um, person is that may be connecting with you, they were friend zoned or they're friend zoning someone or somebody is keeping it to themselves that they have plans to friend zone a person in the fall. So this could happen over the next few months here. Somebody's working on disconnecting a connection with somebody. Hmm. I heard trick, T-R-I-C-K. So somebody could be trying to trick a person, okay? This is somebody that has unlocked secrets or secrets. Yeah, messy boots. Okay, there is an alpha female or male that may have... Uh, baby mom is pregnant at the same time. Okay. Spirit is blocking somebody while they're trying to block you. That is crazy. Whoever is trying to block you wants you all to themselves. Okay. This is somebody that's currently single. They may have gone through a loss of a son or whatever this is. Wow. The... Cards are coming out really clear. Okay, so there's something about family that's important right now is that they're succeeding, meeting their milestones, prospering here. 2121 could be significant. I'm also getting registered sex offender. Keeping a secret. Somebody's keeping a secret about being on the registry. Okay, they might be getting deported. Wow. Spiritual warfare is here as well. There's a lot of secrets because we have unlocked secrets, uh, messy boots, and keeping a secret. There's a lot of secrets. Not only are there multiple baby mothers pregnant, but somebody may be deported because they are a registered sex offender. And somebody it doesn't even have their citizenship. Wow. Wow. Somebody is trying to get out of uh, a divorce. They want to stay together. Somebody here wants to remain open with communication or their heart so that they can pick up on what this masculine or feminine is doing. Okay, so it looks like somebody is not trying to be harsh in the way that they cut someone off. But I feel like somebody's not reaching out for assistance from their spiritual team because they're in um, hot pursuit or a chase of you to nurture this connection. Wow. I heard something about someone's belly or whatever. We have grandson. Somebody here wants to be near their grandson or maybe meeting them at a neutral location or somebody here may have a grandson that they're going to see at a hotel. Somebody doesn't have a stable place to stay. We have binge watching shows. We have play school. Somebody could be binge watching uh, shows when they have time. We have arranged marriage. Villain, the bad guy. Full-chested woman, healthy relationship, and immature 
games, child's play. So somebody's playing a lot of games when it comes to the type of connection that they want to be a part of or why they want to be near someone. There's a karmic father that encourages cheating here. So he's instilling this in his boys that he has birthed or his um, daughter that he has birthed. Somebody here is a hater. Okay. They're jealous because you're married to the money. Okay. Somebody here is vulnerable. We also have financial support coming through. Okay. We have Libra. So there's a Libra that could be a BBW. Somebody here could be uh, served with uh, divorce papers or be getting married. I feel like something is a sham. Somebody only wanted to get married to get um, an insurance policy out or um, there's some sort of fraudulent paperwork that's going on. We have stripper. So somebody here could be a stripper that's pregnant with a pimp's baby. We have family member's ex. Okay. A family member's ex that starts with the letter M. Maybe trying to give you tips on how to be a better parent. <laughs> what? Or somebody thinks that because they have children that are older than your children, that they can tell you what to do or how to parent. Take it as it resonates. We have emperor, boss, empire, pay raise. So somebody here could be given a promotion. Okay. Somebody with a socially awkward um, type of lifestyle. We have verbiage spells. Somebody here could be doing verbiage spells as you're trying to fix the, t the way that you um, are in your environment with people that you're social to. We have spending time with your family or them coming to see you. Your real twin is waiting to meet you. Okay, we have baby mama. We have drone. Okay, so somebody here, their baby mother, whether you are dealing with this person that they are connected through you with, they're keeping... Um, tabs up on you through a drone or somebody, somebody here may be following you around or something like that here. Somebody's baby mother is a weirdo. When they can't find their person, they take this drone and they try to, um, you know, sneak around to see if this person is with you. Okay. So we have government information that's leaked. Okay trying to block you about something that may have needed to come at least eight weeks ago. This is happening to a good man or woman. I feel like you need to watch what you, what you share with a group of people. If these are your friends or if you're sleeping with somebody that's a part of your friend group, you may have a breakout or some sort of infection. Okay. This person could be of, Hispanic um, background or whatever this is. This could be someone that has an identical twin or could have a lookalike. Somebody in your um, friend circle may have something and you're sleeping with this person. Damn. Y'all could be friends with benefits. Just be careful. Look, increase in sexual energy. Somebody can't help themselves when they're around you. This is someone that has a newborn baby or has someone pregnant here. Damn. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.